don't need sleeping beauty No, it's what you do to me Come midnight and daybreak Yes, please, gotta find me a namesake We got faith but don't need Bibles Take the mic, I'll hit my Okay, hello YouTube, it's Tom from PXQ And today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft 1.0.1 .1 bucket server um, this only came out a few hours ago, so it's one of the first tutorials on YouTube. I hope you enjoy. Uh, firstly, you want to start by right-clicking on your desktop, click New, and make a new folder. When that folder comes up, you're going to want to call it Server. I'm going to call mine Server 1 because I've already got a server up there, as you can see. Now you want to go into your browser, um, I've got it open already and all the windows that I need open already but I'll put all the links in the description so I don't need to worry. Firstly you need to go to bucket.org, again I'll have it in the description. You want to, where it says download craft buckets 1.0.1-R1 here, you want to click on that or on the other side, on the right there. Uh, you're going to want to keep it when it downloads, uh, go to your downloads, or if you're in Google Chrome you can just drag and drop, I'm just going to go into my downloads, because that's where my uh, my uh, things I've downloaded on Google Chrome save, yours might save to your desktop. Right, I'm going to want to copy and paste this into my server that I made. Sorry, my computer is a bit slow. right click paste you're going to want to rename it to craftbucket.jar just craftbucket.jar no capitals this makes things look nicer and easier later on you want to now you want to create a new text document call it run.txt or start.txt it doesn't matter as long as it's a text document double click on it Go back to your browser and you want to click on bucket still. You want to click get craft bucket. Uh, scroll down until you see the two blurry boxes starting with at echo off. Um, if you're using Java 6, you're going to want to copy and paste this one into your text document. If you're using Java 7 like me, you're going to want to copy and paste this one into your text document. I'm using Java 7, so just copy and paste it. Then you want to scroll across until you see this. You want to delete up to where I where I show you. There, up to the craftbucket.jar. This is referring to the craftbucket.jar in your um, folder you created. You want to save as, not save, save as. Make sure it's on all files, not just txt, and call it run.bat. I'll have this in the description. Make sure the encoding is ANSI, it's important. Save it. Now you can exit out the run the run text. Now um you'll have this and you can delete the run text now. You'll have run dot bat there. You don't want to ban that uh run that yet because we still got to do port forwarding and then you can run it. So now you're gonna need to find out what your default gateway or external IP is. Do this by clicking the Windows icon R. Uh, type cmd enter and you want to type in ip config i have this in the description uh, scroll up until you see where it says default gateway here you, that's what you're going to want to type into your browser i've done it already to make things quicker um, you're going to want to go to i'm just going to go back to home because i've done this already but go to settings this is on bt so it might be different for you Continue to advance settings and again it might be different port forwarding. Uh supported applications. I'm just gonna delete this because I've already done it, but I'll do it again for you guys. You want to scroll down and add a new gamer application. Call it Minecraft or Minecraft server, it doesn't really matter. I'm calling my Minecraft for the purposes of this video. Uh, scroll down until you see protocol. You're going to want to do any, but not lit. Sorry, not any. Make it TCP and do the port range as 25565. This is the default Minecraft port. It might be different if you changed it, but mine's the same because it just makes things easier. So add it. 
you're going to want to do the same but with the protocol as UDP this time paste it into everyone again make sure it's in everyone otherwise it won't work add it now you can apply go back to configuration uh, select the game or application in Minecraft and the select device it doesn't really matter I'm just going to choose the top one because it's there add it and then apply that's very important if you don't apply it won't save there we go now you can exit out of the your browser interface now um, you're going to want to run your run.bat that you created or start.bat um, when that opens you'll get a black box like this you'll get white text on it saying um, something about achievements and stuff like run 74 reps, recipes and 77 achievements you'll get some errors don't worry it's just generating the files there we go um, this is going to take a while so because it's generating your server and your world so I'll be right back when that's done okay YouTube I'm back and my server's finished generating um, you might guess it's error saying warning can't keep up did the system time change or is the server overloaded just ignore that that won't affect your server in any shape or form and when you go back to your um, server one folder or server folder as mine's called as m um, yours will be called uh, you'll get a load of files I wouldn't edit any of these apart from permissions ops um, server properties banned IPs banned players and plugins um, you will mark up your server and yeah if you want to know how to install plugins just inbox us and we'll try and tell you I'll try and make a video to show you how to um, now you need to find out your, what your external IP is so your friends and the people you want to connect to your server can connect to do this go to your web browser again go to ipchicken.com sorry this will be in the description you can um when you're on this website you'll have a big blue bunch of numbers this is your external IP and you'll give that to your friends to connect to your server they'll go into multiplayer at a server call it whatever your name server or anything else and um then the IP they type in for that on the other hand you will I'm not going to do this but because it will lag but you go into multiplayer at a server call it my server or whatever you want but for the server IP, you want to type localhost, L-O-C-A-L-H-O-S-T. Um, this, um, your friends can't do this because they don't, because uh, they have to use your external IP. But that's the only way you can connect. And there's another complicated way, but I wouldn't try that. It's just hard. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and it helped you. Uh, if you have any problems just leave a comment down below or inbox us and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching, um, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.